Hi, I'm Tony Polias and welcome to ilearnthings.com. This is episode 5, Formatting Headers and Footers. In this case, uh, we have open a uh, openoffice.org spreadsheet, but we're not talking about the headers and footers that you might find in a spreadsheet table. We're talking about headers and footers of a page that are printed out, that is printed out. Um, if you go to File and uh, down to Page Preview, uh, you, you will be able to see at the top right here uh, the default header, which will say Sheet 1. And you scroll down to the bottom and you'll see the default header of Page 1. I mean, uh, default footer for Page 1, which will show up in the document. Uh, that's uh, normally what you get by default. Um, if you don't see anything like that, uh, go under Format, uh, down to Page, and underneath the tab that says Header, uh, make sure that that is on, clicked on right here, and under Footer, make sure that those are selected as well. If you want to turn it off, you can just go to where it says Header, uh, turn that off, hit OK. Uh, if you go back to File and uh, Print Preview, you will see now that we do not have a header on our document. Where before it said, it said uh, sheet one, uh, now it doesn't say anything. We still have the footer because we didn't turn that particular option off. So again, just go to format, page. Uh, you have a couple different options here, but what we're interested in is the header and the footer. I'm gonna turn that header back on for right now. Uh, you can also edit the header and footer if you go to the edit menu and select the headers and footers option. Now this t looks a little bit different uh, because this is where you actually type in the header or the footer. I'm going to hit cancel for right now, but you can also get to that from the format menu. So you go to format, page, under the header option. Uh, right here you have a couple different options for setting the margin of the header. Uh, spacing between the different uh, sections. But if you actually want to change what it says, just hit the edit button there. Now for header and footers, uh, the options are the same. You'll have a left area, a center area, and a right area. Right here you can say, you can see that it says sheet one. I'm gonna delete that for now. Uh, and uh, put something else. now. In this drop-down menu, you have a couple uh, pre-configured options that you can choose from, or you can also create your own, and creating your own is as simple as typing. Or you can add some automatic text. Um, these buttons here give you different options. Uh, this one will let you put in the title, and what it means by title is the document title, because I haven't saved this yet. If I click on that, it'll say Untitled 1. So we'll delete that for right now. We don't want that. Uh, this particular one will give you the sheet name. Uh, if you look down here in the bottom corner, I'm currently on sheet 1. So that's what it will put in the center area. If you want to put in the right area, you just click in this box here. And you can say Sheet Name there. Um, if you want to put the date in and the time, you have those two buttons there. These two buttons put in the page numbers. The first one is the actual page you're on, and the second one with two number signs is the total number of pages that you have in your document. Uh, let's, in the left area, put in the date. So we have that rare right there. Whenever you have uh, it selected the way you want, just hit OK. And again here you can select the spacing, but we'll hold off on that right now. Let's go over to the footer. Make sure the footer's on and edit it. Uh, we're going to get rid of this page here. And um, right here we'll, we'll put in the time so that we know what time we created this document. And in the left area, we're, we'll put in the, uh, let's see, the page number. So we're going to say page one of total number of pages, 99 and hit OK. We'll hit OK again and we're going to go up to File and uh, 
page preview. Uh, I'll zoom in a little here. So you can see the header has been changed to what we selected it to be. We put in the date, uh, we put in the uh, title, this is a header, and the sheet number in the top. And in the bottom, for the footer, we put the uh, one page of one, because it's only one page, and the time it was created at. Now these are dynamic, so these will change. If you add more pages to your document, it'll say one of uh, whatever total number of pages you have. The time and date will change uh, according to uh, the time and date uh, that you save it at, and or that you print it at. Um, this uh, sheet number will also change if you change the uh, naming of your sheet in your spreadsheet. So let's change that really quick. And we'll call this tutorial. Okay, so now if we go to file and page preview, you zoom in on that real quick, you'll see that it was changed to uh, tutorial. So this is very handy if you have a, a spreadsheet with uh, multiple sheets, you know, say you have uh, one, two, three, or maybe more, you print out a document. Uh, but when you save the the actual spreadsheet, you usually can only see, you know when you open it up, you only see whatever uh, tab was open um, last time you saved it. So let's say you print something out and uh, you don't remember what document it was in, what uh, file it was in. Uh, but if you put the sheet tab uh, or even the document name, uh, maybe the file path name as well in your header and footer. It'll help you remember uh, if you have a printed document where exactly you saved that and what particular tab of that uh, spreadsheet um, the uh, graph or whatever it is you're creating uh, was saved at. Uh, well, that was a brief introduction to formatting headers and footers. I hope you enjoyed that and we'll see you next time.